God? Since antiquity, great religious and secular philosophers alike have constantly advocated peaceful, unified ideals for humanity. One glance at society today makes one wonder why the idea of universally valuing and respecting your fellow human being and working together has never taken root. I think I was on Larry King about four times. And he said to me, Jock, what do you think of Christianity? I said, it's a wonderful idea. Why are they putting it into practice? <laughs> Being a Christian in behavior was very rare. These people seem to behave in contradictory ways. And they weren't warm. They did not personify the teachings of Christ or Buddha or Moses. None of them seem to personify that kind of teaching. The Bible is subject to interpretation. When you read it, you say, I think Jesus meant this. I think Job meant that. Oh, no, he meant this. So you have the Lutheran, the Seventh-day Adventist, the Catholic, and a church divided is no church at all. And a church divided is no church at all. And those Christians that really believe in setting up a world which is a brotherhood of humanity, you have to get them to join the Zeitgeist movement to carry out the teachings of all religions. In order to eliminate most of the problems that exist today, we have to declare the earth and all its resources as a common heritage of all the world's people. Jesus says, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And that's the way we see the resource-based economy or the Venus Project, that you can create all your spiritual aspirations, but make it a reality. Not go to church and, and sing all day long. Do things. Jesus said, By their work you shall know them. So all they talk about has no meaning at all. It is time to stop talking about our supposed humanistic and religious ideals and actually work to make them happen. Attention. I don't, I don't understand why so much hate Attention. between races and religions. What we're advocating is a method of how to achieve what all those people who have have desire for higher consciousness. How do you do that? How do you achieve that? Mm. How do you achieve a world without war and crime and bigotry? Human being thinks that they're the greatest creation of nature. They're spiritual beings. They put themselves on a pedestal. And they're the ones that are poisoning the air, killing each other in the name of God. Do you believe in my God? No, boom. Why was it thou shalt not kill? It's going to take time for people to take on the responsibility of managing this wonderful gift of nature, the earth, water, all the wonderful things we have, and we have to take care of the earth. We have to assume responsibility. Religion doesn't work, never did. Religious people kill, they get angry, they're jealous, they go to church, and they pray. That isn't what Jesus did, he went around helping people. He associated with bums, beggars, prostitutes, the downtrodden. Human beings have lived this way for millennia upon millennia. Why haven't they changed? Why haven't you, who are, the, who are listening now, why haven't you changed? You know, if you don't change, what the consequences are? Fighting, fighting, fighting. Building up more and more albums to destroy each other. Now, why don't you, if you are at all serious in this matter, why don't you ask yourself that question? Why am I, a human being, who have been through all this? Why haven't I changed? What would be your answer? Either you are not serious, 
You want to live a very, very superficial life. And that superficiality temporarily satisfies you. Or you really don't care. As long as you have immediate pleasures, immediate satisfactions, you really don't care. How can you find out what a religious life is when you are blind? A resource-based economy puts into practice everything the great religious and philosophic teachers have always talked about in regard to humans embracing each other as their own and working together in mutual respect as a single human family. What we need is a true change of consciousness where we understand the interrelationship between all of us. People ask me, how long will it take to make the world a beautiful place? It is not up to me. It's up to you what you do out there. If you do nothing, nothing will happen.